All right, folks, here we go. Here's the new tool. We got the M12 hatchet. Uh, this is a Milwaukee 12 volt. Um, had a couple extra batteries here, so one and a half volt, four, uh, or one and a half amp, excuse me, four amp hour and six amp hour batteries. Um, gonna do a quick unboxing here and show you what comes in. So we got some directions. Don't need those. Got a 12 volt charger. This one came with another four amp hour battery, M12. And then, uh, there we go. So, here's the tool. Nice little chain guard. Um, I think it's meant to be used two hands like this. So you got a guard here so you don't get the kickback. Um, I'm gonna try and zoom in here or walk towards the camera here. You can see that every link has got a tooth. So it's not a skip tooth. It's every single link here. Um, my guess is that's gonna make it a little safer. Um, on the back side here, we've got uh, chain oil. It's got an onboard scrunch, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is kind of the safety switch, so it works both directions. And then here we got the battery indicator light. So 4321, depending on the charge of the battery. That's pretty typical of M12 tools. You got one bolt there, chain tightener. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go grab a little bit of oil, and then we're going to put this thing to work. Let me show you. Grab the six amp hour battery, but. So that was kind of full speed. Um, trigger doesn't work unless you push the safety. So whether you want to run that with the thumb on the other side or with your index finger, maybe use your middle finger as a trigger, that's how that's going to work. So anyhow, we'll grab some chain oil and get cutting. All right, we got the green bottle of steel. So this is the Bio Plus. Just took a couple ounces, so not a lot of bar oil, but should provide a fair amount of cutting here. So. Try not to overfill it the first time. All right, let's go give this a shot. Got some safety glasses. I'm gonna omit the hearing protection just because I don't think I need it. And uh, we don't have chaps on because I don't think I can cut my leg off. Let's give it a try here. This is probably two inch diameter. That works pretty slick. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it that good. All right. Oop. Saved it. That is pretty slick, folks. There's the one-handed operation. This might be my new favorite tool. All right. That's got plenty of power. Um, you guys are looking for a small portable chainsaw. Um, this is easily one hand operation. Although I'm sure Milwaukee recommends too. Um, yeah, pretty compact. 
actually put the six amp hour battery in here so um, I believe this is one of the bigger batteries that Milwaukee offers in the M12 line so even with that I mean above my head you know this is really portable um, really the heaviest part of the unit unit is this um, fuel brushless motor um, here's the you can see what we've been using for oil so it kind of topped it off looks like we're a little below full here so yeah this is pretty cool um, I think what we're going to use this for mainly is with the uh, uh, with the AccuMark um, this is a pretty good distance here I'm going to say inch and a half across um, for the bar width um, so I think that mango mark will go there I'm noticing here we also have some like plastic dogs but um, nonetheless should work um, and very little kickback on this so I'm impressed with that um, it really just kind of goes through the branches so yeah stick around if you guys like these kind of videos appreciate you tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one enjoy your day around the yard for that. The big question is, what do you do with limwood? You guys save this and burn it in your fireplace? pretty pretty small to be splitting but uh, I kind of like to save it and uh, put it in the IBC tote actually works pretty good in the wood furnace um, you know all the stuff that's two inch two and a half inch diameter is kind of handy um, you know, the little twigs and kind of stuff like that we'll wind up putting in the burn pit but I said I, I kind of cut stuff off at about two inches that's my minimum I don't have a wood chipper around here yet, so um, that's kind of, this is saveable to me, but some, for some other folks that might not be. Um, anyhow, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys do.